So today we're going to talk about wearable technologies. You guys are going to be a design team to design your fitness tracker. You need an engineer, a computer technical person, project manager. Okay, so you're the one that makes sure you have materials. In this activity, youth work in small groups to design and construct functional health wearables that measure pulse and activity levels. So let's start plugging it together, connecting the wires to the pulse oximeter. Okay, right. so first one, ground goes to ground. Ground to ground. Does it matter what color it's on? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I challenged you with accuracy earlier today. I'd like you to think about what can we compare to and get that accuracy measurement in this design. So we're gonna count one, two, three. Did we get three back walkovers or did we get 600? It right? counts whenever it shakes. That's gonna be more than that because it's gonna shake when right. I'm going backwards. One, two, three, stop. 31, three, one, everybody. 41, 41, everybody. One. Two, three, stop. So it's not three, but it, it, off, it obviously captured 30 of something, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, is that, what do you yeah. think that means? There's more movement in her wrist, so we should probably re relocate it, like leg or something. A one-to-one -one ratio, so one cartwheel equals one movement, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like what could a coder do with that information, knowing that, knowing that three equals 30? Probably like, divide by 30 or three to find the actual amount. Of. Yeah, so instead of number of steps, which we put in there, movement, we could a coder could actually say, okay, when we get 30, we know that we're gonna divide by three, and so it's not number of steps, but number of walkovers, walk. whatever it was. Yeah. That gymnast move that happened. <laughs>